Hi there, I'm Alan Bach, and this is Trey Johnson. Uh, Trey and I have been friends for a long, long time. I've known him since he was a little boy. He actually came to my roping school, and I got to watch uh, God do amazing things in Trey's life. And uh, <clears throat> I picked Trey to be my partner in this, uh, in breaking down some scripture for you. I think it would uh, be fun to take certain scriptures that we think are so important in our lives. I've been a professional roper all my life, and it's always been about competing and winning. And so, so much of God's Word is about succeeding and doing your very best. And uh, we're going to break down scripture. I do want everybody to know that <clears throat> the revelation that God gives you in this could be a little bit different because He's such a personal... God that he's going to customize the revelation you get from a scripture maybe a little bit different than me or Trey but in doing this I think it will help a lot of you to maybe get a little bit deeper understanding of the scriptures that that's what our heart is in it and and obviously it's going to come out of us of how much uh, Jesus means to us uh, how faithful he's been in my career and uh, how important God's word is in my life you know, uh, one of the main scriptures or one of the first scriptures that I ever memorized was one that you and I were talking before. And if you have your Bibles, I want to encourage you to open them up. And if not, you can go back and listen to this. But it's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. You know, Alan, that was whenever I went to your roping school, that was a scripture that you wrote on my autograph uh, picture. And so when I gave my life to the Lord, I'd had his picture up in my room for years, you know. And that was one of the first scriptures that I memorized and got into my heart because it meant something to you. I thought, well, it must be some power behind it. And now, and that scripture has, has been just such a pillar in my life for 20 plus years now, ever since I accepted mm -hmm. the Lord. And uh, would you mind just sharing kind of some of the, the nuggets that that's meant to you? And, yeah, and for sure. <clears throat> I I always say this, and probably not ever going to change saying it, but easy to memorize, a uh, little harder to live by. <laughs> but it's it's been a, a definite challenge in my life to trust the Lord with all your heart when you really think about that. Uh, at times... I felt like I was doing pretty good with that, and then also at times not so good. But whenever I trusted the Lord with all my heart, every every part of me, and then in all my ways acknowledge Him. And uh, early on, you know, I was asking the Lord, in all my ways, that means everything, like my roping. My roping really does mean something to you. Well, the day I actually laid my rope down and dedicated my talent and abilities to Him, it was amazing um, the revelation that I got even to this scripture that <clears throat> he cared about the horses that I rode. He wanted me to ride the best horse <clears throat> that helped me rope my very best. He wanted me to have the right partner. And when I talk about partners as a team roper, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the person that I was going to win the most with in the worldly sense. It, it in, in some cases, it was somebody that God wanted me to share my life with. Uh, when you're a team roper doing what I did, I would spend uh, every day for all year long <clears throat> in the truck, taking turns driving, cleaning the trailer out with my partner. So, I mean, you really, really built a strong relationship with your partner. And in most cases, their strength, their their faith was strengthened. In some cases, I was able to lead them to Christ. And after we'd spent enough time just them trusting me and hearing what Jesus had done in my life, uh, it really wasn't that hard for them to, to trust and say, oh, I need Jesus in my life also. Because he w it was such a big part of my life. And my partners, my horses, protecting me, providing for me, sponsors, uh, real estate deals, everything they had to do with providing for me. And I'm talking back in the day before there was uh, big, big sponsors. 
I mean, I'd, I've done over 600 roping schools. So he set me up with all these roping schools, which, which helped me supplement my income. And, that, and that's what basically uh, helped me to be a good teacher and a good coach of, of roping. Uh, but to trust him with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, <clears throat> that part right there was always really hard for me. And I know there's a lot of you out there that same deal. We're, we want to be our own man. We're independent, especially cowboys. And to, <clears throat> to take a time out, every time there's a big decision, whether it be who you're going to marry, the job, where you're going to live, you take that time out and say, you know what? I'll bet God knows better where I should live, who I should rope with, what horse I should ride. And, and amazingly, uh, God spoke to my heart one day and said, you know, I even know the right horse for you because of your strengths and your weaknesses. I'm, I'm taller, right? So <clears throat> I've always leaned over and cued my horse a little bit. So he spoke into me early on that I needed a horse that had a nice stop, but was a little bit free <clears throat> so that <clears throat> I wasn't always telling him to stop too early. So it was just amazing the horses he started providing me with and I could go on and on talking about horses and so the best horse I had, one of them come from uh, Mexico for goodness sake. Wasn't papered, kind of a big old ugly head, uh, but oh my gosh, was a warrior. If he was a person, he would be that guy that you would wanted to take to Vietnam with you. Never cheated me, was so honest and and it was just like God just, he just ended up right in my lap. Uh, I mean, the Lord can do that for you. <clears throat> we use our faith to access the good things of God. And uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, like Trey said, I've wrote them on every single autograph sheet. Only the Lord knows how many of those there is, hundreds of thousands maybe. But it, it meant that much to me. And that's why we're starting off with Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So uh, just... Pray and meditate on that scripture, and I know it'll mean a lot to you. You know, just to interject a little bit there, you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart. How do we develop that trust? You know, Alan mentioned, you know, the hours of driving and praying. and Well, one of the ways that we develop our trust is by spending time in His Word. You know, trust in the Lord is the reason I, you and I have a strong relationship because we've spent years and hours talking and going through things mm -hmm. that we trust each other. And it's the same way with the Lord. You acknowledge Him in all your ways. In every situation, you're finding out what He says through His Word. It's developing trust because you learn His character and nature that He's never going to fail me. He's never going to let me down. He is all-knowing. He is all-powerful. And so, Lord, I, I trust in You. So this is revealing his heart, his character, his nature in all of our ways. Like Alan said, just make it a habit each and every day that in all my ways today, Lord, I'm going to acknowledge you. Acknowledge means that I'm going to say what you say. It means I'm going to agree with what you say. I'm going to come together in alignment with what God says that, Lord, you know better. You know, it's like Alan said, I trust you, Lord. In all my ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our steps Notice steps, not a parked car, but steps. He wants to direct when we're moving and we trust him. He's going to direct you. So take steps sure. towards him. James chapter 4 verse 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So be moving towards God. Be moving towards your dream. Like I was he mentioned, be moving towards finding that right horse, the right spouse, the right partner, the right sponsors. Be moving, Lord, I trust you. It means just like this. If you could see inside you, it means living like this. Lord, I trust you. You know, I, I'm good. expecting you to speak into my heart. So this is a life-changing scripture. Like Al said, it's the truth that, that sets us free. But God wants this to be your truth. And when it's your truth, it's life-changing. It's been life-changing to us, and it's going to be life-changing to you. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, get it in you. And watch God direct your steps to becoming the person you're called and created to be. God bless you guys. Smartytraining.com. You can go to that. We're going to have all these scriptures on there. We actually plan on putting each one of these scriptures on our caps and our, our T-shirts, hoodies, other things. And So anyway, <clears throat> we'll make them available uh, as much as we possibly can. But you can definitely go to that website or Facebook, Smarty 
Facebook and see all of them. Trey's website.